Hi, I'm Dominique and today I'm at Auckland Zoo to meet squirrel monkeys and capybaras, which I know very little about. Let's go check it out. Christine Tintinger is a senior primate keeper here and we're off to find some squirrel monkeys. Okay, come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. So Christine, we're looking for the squirrel monkeys. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Well, in here, and hopefully they will come down out of their tree to say hello, we've got 13 of them. It's a family group. Obviously they know me, but they're not too sure about you. Hopefully when they come close, the mothers will have their babies on their backs. I'll try and encourage them down. I've got some mealworms here, so I'll give you some. <laughs> and I'll tap my container and see if they've come down. Squirrel monkeys are one of the smallest primates. They spend 99% of their time living in trees and live in large groups called troops. Troops can have up to 500 members. They're so furry and cheeky. I'm sorry, I have none. They're so cute too. This is so awesome. Squirrel monkeys have very large brains compared to their body size. That's why they're so smart. They are very clever. So they can think through problems and they can get their little hands and investigate things. So can you tell me a little bit about the capybara? Capybara are a creature that lives in South America. So they live in the same place that squirrel monkeys live. And in the wild, they love grass. So they'd be eating the grass and the water. So we give them a lot of grass to eat because they absolutely love it. And they kind of look like guinea pigs. Are they related? Guinea pigs are rodents but these guys are related to the guinea pig. Yeah, just way, way bigger. Capybara are the world's largest rodents, weighing between 35 and 70 kgs. They can be half a metre tall and nearly one and a half metres in length. They are built to live in the water, so they're quite fat, but their ears and their eyes are right at the top of their head, so when they go underneath the water, they can still see and hear. They've got webbed feet, a bit like a duck, you know, so when you're going through the water, it's easier to swim. But also, the water is where they go to the toilet. Obviously, we have a proper flushing toilet, but they decide to use the, the rivers and the streams to go to the toilet. Thank you so much, Christine. My pleasure. It was so much fun, and I love the fact that they're related to guinea pigs. And squirrel monkeys are really cute. Anyway, see you guys next time. What now? Sunday from 8 a.m. On 2.